Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Art to Heart at the Art to International show. And today I have the honor, the honor to interview one of our 18 top 60 masters 2018, Helen Kagan, whose work is behind me and is giving me this amazing energy. I'm feeling it. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for inviting me for this amazing interview. I know it will be amazing because you guys are amazing and I'm totally amazed by what you're doing and I'm totally honored to be here. And this is my work behind. Uh, the name is Big Apple, I Love You. And mostly people when they see it and they connect with the vibe of uh, this painting, they immediately find themselves immersed into that all enveloping, crazy, uh, wonderful, uh, amazing, pulsating energy of New York City. This is the feedback that we get from the Art Expo, yes. where one of, the, of my paintings, uh, this one, was exhibited, and people were talking about that. that the, remember remember yeah. that episode? Yeah. That was so interesting. I think it was the last day, and then just, you know, there were a lot of traffic on Art Sorry. Expo. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is New York, what can you do, right? <laughs> I'm actually a New Yorker, and even though I live in Florida, I still consider myself a New York uh, because, you know, this is my home. Uh, anyway, so there was a guy, and he just came to the booth, and he looked at this, this particular painting, and the other one, and he looked and looked and looked, and then he said, I don't know what you did here. And I said, what do you mean? I don't know, this is something magical. And that was just a... a if I may say so, just a regular person, you know, not a collector, not, not a museum, you know, not an art uh, connoisseur. No, just, just a person who came to, to look at the art. And he was standing there for good like five minutes. Oh, I have goosebumps, look at this. Oh my God. And he was staring at this painting and saying, there is something in there, there is some energy. How did you do that? And I was stunned because you usually you know I, I received this kind of feedback about my healing arts but that was amazing I was really looking at the guy and I thought I, I remember even like you know tearing my tears came and I said you got it man you got it because this is something that you cannot put in words but basically it's what we all feel it's the energy and that's that's probably what you're going to ask me about, so I'm not talking. I was going to ask you, so tell me more about your healing arts. <laughs> exactly. So I, I took, I'm sorry, I, I, I can talk a lot. As you can see about the healing arts and the concept that I have been developing for oh, over 20 years. Uh, I would say actually over 30 years because I started to work on the healing art concept while I was still in the... Uh, uh, former Soviet Union. I'm originally from Russia and uh, I was working there as a psychologist and psychotherapist and a healer. And this is what I uh, started to work on when I immigrated to the United States. I was, again, uh, not immediately because I needed to, you know, study language and uh, and do a lot of other things that we all do when we immigrate as refugees to a new country. Um, but my, my, my mission and my vision and my dream was to serve people. I, you know, as a therapist and as a healer, this is what, not only what I do, but this is who I am. This is where my heart is. And then many, 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 many years, actually, I've been working in New York uh, as a therapist and as an energy healer, hands-on and hands-off energy healer. I'm talking, I'm having goosebumps, oh my God, because there was so much happening in those years, of mm. course. And then, you know, I decided that that was a conscious decision that I want to do healing arts in a way of uh, integrating the healing and the fine arts. So in a way of uh, presenting people, viewers, with the, the healing energy through the art. And at that time, like I said, about 20 years ago, not many people even considered doing that. There was no you know, uh, healing modalities uh, utilized in the hospitals or medical center. Not so, it wasn't that popular. It just, the last you know, 20 years, it became more, becoming more and more and more popular. And this is my dream 
to bring my healing arts uh, to uh, a lot of you know healthcare facilities and to maybe large offices because you know my art is generally large and has a lot of positive healing energy, a lot of feedback from different people, viewers, people who seen it even you know in the magazines, in your magazine, in your beautiful magazine and catalogs. They all respond in the same way. There was not one person who would just pass by uh, and, and didn't notice that you know the the impact of that. And so I you, I'm not going to say anything because <laughs> yeah, you probably will ask me what do I do. <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know, one of the things that I like to do is going back, go back to the beginning and the origin of the inspiration of the artist. Tell me about yourself, about your childhood. What what built, what created Helen Kagan, the artist? Oh, I'm afraid this interview will last for like a few <laughs> days, not a, you know, a few minutes. Uh, uh, it's, it's been a process, I would say. It's been a long, long, long process of, of finding myself, of actually defining myself, who I am as, as a person, as, as a healer, as a very traumatized person, I, I have a lot of trauma in my background. Uh, this is why I, I, I think I am so good and have been very good in working with people of different back, with different backgrounds and PTSD. This is post-traumatic stress disorder. I worked with a lot of mental health problems. I actually developed a couple of clinics here in Manhattan uh, that still exist and. Uh, I've been working a lot in this capacity, just you know, bringing healing to people in many different shapes and forms. And I think that helped me a lot to uh, incorporate my um, healing background, my therapeutic background into uh, my uh, healing arts, my concept that I've been, like I said, developing and still developing because you know there is nothing. Uh, uh, static. Yeah, static. It's all. It's all dynamic. It's all in the process. Uh, it's all the process. You know. It's all in development. And uh, right now, I feel. Actually, I feel that there is. Uh, there is. I have a lot of art. I have a lot of art. And this cumulative effect from all this art, it. I feel that this is kind of a turning point for me, where something has to happen. Something has to happen. It's like I have all this revelation. Something, I mean, big has to happen, not just, you know, I'm, I'm showing a lot of, you know, that. And thank you so much for inviting me for the interview and to your magazine, beautiful magazine. Uh, and I have a lot of, you know, publications in other magazines and catalogs. And I show a lot in big shows and small shows. But I have a dream. I have a dream. And this dream is very important to me as a person, as an artist, as a healer, and um, as somebody who really cares. I really care about where we are, what crazy environment we're living in, crazy times we're living in, turbulent, uh, people are shooting everywhere. I mean, you cannot just, you know, disassociate yourself from everything that's happening. You are part of this. I am part of this. And I believe that with my healing arts, I can make a difference. And this is why I said I have a dream. I have a big dream. And I think we artists, we have to dream big. Yes. And the dream is that I really want to bring my art to, as I said, healthcare facilities, to you know, large corporations, to, to places where a lot of people can not only see it, not only you know buy a little piece and put it in your on your wall, which it, it's also good, but you know those big pieces, and I have even larger than this, uh, they belong to the places where people can get the healing vibe. They can just even by walking by, just you know passing by, and you can they can get healing from it because I know I know there is a very healing qualities in every piece that I'm creating because I'm not just creating it, I'm actually co-creating. Mm -hmm. And I know every time when I have this uh, energy that going through me, I can call it, this is from God. Or some people say, oh, that's higher power. Some people say this is the universal forces, this is the energy. 
it doesn't matter how you call it, it's there. And I am, I am working with this energy. This energy is helping me. This energy actually is going through me and onto the canvas. I might have some ideas, but then when I connect with this wonderful, amazing, powerful energy of God, then, you know, my ideas can go down the toilet. I'm sorry, but, you know, because this is so powerful and that guides me. It's like a guidance, you know. Yeah. And then I create those pieces where people walk by and they look and they say, wow, I don't know what it is, but I, I want to stay and look at that. And actually, a few pieces I have, I call it to myself, I call it like my trademark pieces, People cry. They just stand in front of it and they look and they start crying. Not just once, it happened, I would say, quite a few times. And they don't know why. But there is that healing quality, healing energy, healing vibes, again, whatever you call it. And that helps people. That helps people. I think this is, this is probably the quint essence of my art. I want my art to help people heal. Beautiful. And how is your creative process? Is it, is it your creative process something that you planned? Or this is all spontaneous through meditation and healing? That's a very, very good question. And I, I don't think I have an answer. It's a wonderful question because I ask myself many times, how do I create? What that creative process is per se? Mm. And I think the creative process for many people, not only artists, yeah. painters, but you know, musicians, uh, whoever, I mean, any, any kind, any sort of dancers, you know, movement, uh, any, any kind of, cre any, any, any way how we mm. utilize that creativity uh, gives us, enriches us and gives us so much uh, power that we can utilize in a certain way, but it doesn't have to be the exact same power all the time. Right. Sometimes I meditate, other times I'm, like I said, I hesitate to use the word channeling, but excuse me, I am using that yeah. word because this is what I'm doing. As a healer, I'm channeling the energy, and other times I can be just totally spontaneous and you know, very contemporary, just throw you know, paint on the canvas and then work with that and then do something. Uh, other times I have ideas or dreams and then I try to work with that. But usually, like I said, that, 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 that bigger power than I am, that, that bigger energy that overtakes me and guides me to where I need to go. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that all my process is completely spontaneous, no. Because mm -mm. I'm very left brain. I'm totally left brain. Come on, I have all these degrees. You know <laughs> that, right? The PhDs and you know, uh, uh, master's degrees and different fields. So I'm left brain. So I'm organized. I'm structured. I am allowing myself to to be right brain and to use it and to you know work with that and be a little more spontaneous that I usually am when I'm running business, for instance, right? You know that, you're an artist yourself, so <laughs> you have to play with all this right and left and, yes. and do that yeah. all the time. So, it, you know, different times, different things. Mm -hmm. But all, all of that, probably, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much. Uh, before we go, before we go, tell us what you're, that's all, that's all. Tell us what you're planning, what's coming up, what's, what's in store in your studio, what's going on in there. Oh my God, you're asking me all these provocative <laughs> questions. Um, well, there are a couple shows coming up, uh, not the, the big ones, because this was the big one, uh, Art Expo, and the coming up, the, the, you know, yeah. at the Rio Gallery, that will be a huge one. Yeah. I know you're expecting over 500 people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a biggie. Uh, then when I come back to Florida, there is a couple smaller ones, but you know, it's also good. Uh, can I say that you and I are planning oh, something? Yes, yes. We are planning, it's, it's in the works. It's in the miraculous works yes. and I don't know how it will, you know, uh, play out, develop and, you know, materialize in yes. the material world, meaning in the, in the real world, real yeah. material world, but in the, on that world and, you know, in the esoterical, in the, yes. this kind of 
metaphysical. I love those, you know, I love that world because everything is possible there. So I want, I want to take that, what, what you are talking about, and so there might be a, a very big, big, big show, solo show, hopefully, you know, in one of your yes. galleries, because yes. we both want that. So yes. if we both want that, then it's supposed yes. to happen, right? Yes. I don't know how, I don't know the means, I don't know what and how, but we want it, and I want it really, because uh, I can imagine, like, 10, 15, like this size, 20, 20 yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, the, all, all yeah. that, you know, all the yeah. big pieces that I have in yeah. one space, that will be an amazing, like, vibration. It would, it would vibrate, I know, because, you know, in my studio, I have just a few of them on the walls, and I'm, like, vibrating, and anybody who visits the studio, like, wow, like that. And so it's, I have goosebumps all over. So that's happening. So Beautiful. There, thank you for asking me this question and giving me a chance to uh, say it aloud. Right. So that's probably the biggest one. I, like I said, I have a couple of uh, articles coming up in the catalogs, a uh, big uh, international catalog in Germany. It calls inspiration, like this size. Uh, something else. But I'm really excited to what you and I discussed, really. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days, and uh, mm -hmm. it's becoming real. And I really want to bring all this wonderful energy here to New York. I, f I feel it's my hometown. Yeah. I feel it's my hometown. Even ours. though, yeah, yeah, ours, yeah. But I mean, you know, I live in Florida now, yeah. but it's still like I have so much feelings for New York. I love it. I can imagine. Big Apple, I love you. Big Apple, I love you. Yeah. And, I, and the Big Apple loves you too. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, we hope to have you here soon, back again and again. Before we go, where can we find your work online? Tell the viewers. I have several websites. Uh, my main website is www.helenkagan.com. My first name, last name, no space in between. Uh, it's on all my, you know, you just can basically Google Helen Kagan or Healing Arts by Helen Kagan or Helen Kagan Healing Arts and you'll find hundreds, thousands of entries, it's easy to find me. You can call my cell phone, 917-855-1153. It's also on all my, you know, websites and materials everywhere. You can have a wonderful magazine of R2 International. I have six pages and an inside cover. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful print, beautiful colors. Thank you so much. I'm really very pleased, and the article is great. Uh, so you can see that here, and a lot of other places. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thanks, you. Ellen. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And don't forget, stay inspired. <laughs>